Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. This is definitely a hot take, but I don't think relationships should be equal. Speaking in general, men and women have different strengths and that's why partnerships work. I really don't think that relationships should be equal. I don't think I should be working and he should be working and we should be making the same amount of money and doing the same chores and like, I don't think that works. <laughs> And I'm definitely not saying don't work and be submissive to your partner. That's not it at all. Just like focus on your strengths. Like my boyfriend takes care of, he's like a manly man in a sense. Like takes care of things, happy to do it. I'm a total mama at heart. Like I love making sure that people that I love are taken care of and things go smoothly for them. And that's not saying that things aren't going on in my life. Like I still do my own and also take care of people. I also think it's really important to let a man be a man. If he wants to pay for something or he wants to do something, let him, okay? Just let him. It fuels his ego. And it's really not to say that you can't do it. It's just like, let a man be a man. Let him be a man. <laughs> all right. How great is that? We all have her permission now. We can pay for stuff if we want to. And yeah, there is no such thing as an equal relationship. One's gonna put in more effort than the other. And at some point, the other one's gonna pick up the pace. It's all about accepting that. Having that effort reciprocated by the other one. And not hold any grudges because, oh no, today I've done this and you've done nothing. I want to continue this conversation about older women dating younger men. It is definitely a trend right now. I'm seeing it all over social media. I'm seeing it in real life. Many of my friends, including myself, uh, being almost 50, over 50, even over 60, some of my friends are dating younger guys as young as in their 20s. Now, don't, don't no judgment. There should not be a right or wrong to this. I'm going to say being one of the older women that has dated younger guys, I think we are in a very free, playful time in our lives, and so we are looking at that, at that energy, that youthfulness, that, that high energy spirit that is bringing us in. And I think the men are attracted to the women that are kind of know what they want and are already you know, experienced and established. But here's what I do think. I don't think there's long-term relationships going to happen in most situations. We don't have the same things in common. We're in very different places in our life. And I just don't see these being long-term things. Playful time is in your 50? Okay, I can't wait to be in my 50s then. Oh no, wait, I'm a man. Dating younger would be... Uh, wrong. No, but to be serious for a second, I know there aren't too many of you watching that are in your 18 to 24. But if you are, yeah, get yourself a 40-year-old woman. The thing she's gonna teach you, you won't even see in movies. She was right about one thing though. That will never be long-term. And you should make sure it's not gonna be long-term. Hey, 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 stop telling your friends that are getting divorced that they need to take some time and date themselves after the divorce. No, listen, a lot of times when we're getting divorced, we're getting divorced because we've essentially been on our own for a while, okay? So we don't need that. We need to figure out what we do like because we know what we don't like, and that is our ex-husbands. Speaking of long term, this is exactly what I meant. At some point in his life, some lunatic saw the tattoos and the nose ring and said, yeah, I'm gonna make an honest woman out of this one. And now he has to sit around and watch her saying how much she doesn't like him. As for her, of course, she's gonna brag and tell others that they should get divorced. Why shouldn't she if she got everything in the divorce? It would be a different story only if she was the one that had to give up half her house and that car she sits in. What do your tattoos mean? What does that one mean? They don't mean anything. They just make me look like a little tough guy. Little tough guy. Yeah, the key word right there is little. Okay, so to answer this question, um, first and foremost, let me tell you something. Stereotyping yourself into a category such as a cowboy, a businessman, a jokester, a whatever it is, is okay. But for anyone to get someone such as myself, here's where it is. It's really not that hard. Here's where it is, okay? You have to think of yourself like this. Are you a man of action? Okay, and a man, what, what, first let's take that word action. Action is the process of something typically to achieve aim. So if you're a man of action, you're going to attract someone such as myself. A man of action has goals, his own goals. And I don't mean all of a sudden you meet me and I'm, all of a sudden I'm your goal. Because that's annoying. You don't want to be that guy. 
you want to be the man, this man of action. The man of action is the man of the hour, the man of the minute. No matter where you are in life, are you a man of action? But being a man of action, having your own goals, and then attracting someone with goals, such as myself, there's not a better recipe than that. Man of action. Yeah, apparently your goal is to talk a lot and say nothing at the same time. What if my goal is to categorize myself as a cowboy or let others categorize me as a jokester? Are you a man of action? Yes, I am. And my only goal is to stay away from someone like you. Listen, I'm just saying, I know how I feel and I know my words. So if I sit here and I tell you this is what I want and you can't give me that, it's okay. It's no problem. But I'm going to go find it. Go right ahead and yes, I'm sure you're going to find it. You're in your 30s, still looking, haven't found it yet. But you need to keep that positive thinking, you know. I'm sure it's going to get way easier in your 40s to find it. If you are a man and I message you... I expect you to open my message in one eighth of a second and I expect you to respond in under two minutes. And if I don't message you first, I expect you to message me anyway. Anyway. Am I the only a-hole who knowing her expectation will count to 100 Mississippi before reading that message? And then grab myself a coffee, watch a movie and thinking, oh, I should have respond to that message. Probably just me, right? The rest of you won't admit it. I'm just messing around. They always say, keep those expectations high, right? And then you get disappointed he hasn't replied in two minutes, but at least you still have high expectations. I just realized I gave two Bumble guys my number. They were both not really into the small talk and did not have a lot of information on their profile. So yeah, we were scheduling a date. It became kind of like tricky to message on the app. So I just texted them my number. Both of them asked for it. So um, the only problem is they have the same name. So <laughs> when they text, I have no idea which Mike, I will meet up with. So, yeah, I need to be creative to figure out which one of them it is. I don't know how to do that. Well, one way to do it would be to only date one man at a time. But here's me being a naive lunatic. Of course, you're not going to do that. You got to keep that roster moving. But hey, at least they'll find out about each other at some point. They'll both be gone and you'll no longer have this problem to worry about. If you were given a million dollars to never see your best friend again, would you accept it? No. 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 Hell no. 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 No, because friendship is worth more than money. Shut up. It's one million dollars. If my best friend will find out I turned down one million dollars, he'll run me over with his car. It's always easy to say no when you don't have anyone putting one million dollars in front of you. But as soon as someone would, that answer is gonna change into yes, I'm gonna take the money in a heartbeat. Out of curiosity and also for you to prove me wrong, how many of you will say no and how many of you will take the money? Nerds. They're nerds. You go for the nerd. This is true, nerds make the best partners because they believe in fantasy things like trust. Nerds actually believe that people don't cheat on each other, or at least they're too busy to think about it. And this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.